831.94. T minus nine. Dang, just nine more. That single digit feels damn good. I don't feel like I'm unqualified to horn in on the civil rights chant of free at last, free at last, free at last. After all, I have been shut out of the joys of life as much as any racial minority. However, my mood and spirits have lifted dramatically. The prospect of death being so near is an intoxicating feeling. I'm starting to feel good about my future because I only have to deal with another week of it. <laughs> Phil Sharky. The other thing I've decided, even if my ocean vessel doesn't pan out, I'll just do it in a motel room. I just don't give a shit anymore. Hey, I don't want to mess with anyone's mental well-being, but it's them or me. Uh-oh. It's time to go to the movie, alone. Wow, here it is three hours later, and where did my good mood go? Leaving the theater, I was bombarded by the thoughts I'm more familiar with. Thoughts like, Devin had been in her heaviest crunch period in school, and I left her. Could she have made it through without me? And is it so weak of me not to be able to make it through my crunch period of existence after she left me?